morning everybody Tony here it's the day after yesterday I am still working on the brakes on the 285 didn't really get a whole lot done yesterday other than removing the right side um, I'm in the middle of cleaning that up now uh, they recommended putting new bolts on as this is not the first time that this has been apart and apparently they actually recommend putting new bolts on every time but uh, they hadn't did that before and I guess they're recommending I do it now. So anyhow, I have to clean all the surfaces up. The Permatex sealant that I have, kind of cool. It, um, the mechanic said that you put it on, I guess it's a Loct Loctite product, not Permatex, my bad. Um, it's the lack of oxygen that sets it up, which I thought was neat. So you're not supposed to push the surfaces together until you are ready to have them together, like permanently. So, um, which is kind of cool because it gives you time to work with it as long as you don't push it together. And then once, once you're ready to draw everything up, squeeze it together and then it'll set up. I do have to clean the surfaces up, um, use brake cleaner to make sure any oil that is on them is off because oil will not let it set up and then we'll have leaks so cleaned up there's a ring here that goes over the planetaries i cleaned up the surfaces on that i just need to put <clears throat> rinse it off with brake cleaner uh i need to do the surface on the final drive housing and uh when i get back with the bolts why well, we'll go back together we'll see how well that goes um it, yeah, that'll be the hard part, I believe. I'm going to put the brake pad disc in a while. Um, I'm not sure. The one I actually replaced here, or am replacing at this time, is not, probably isn't the one that was showing up in the oil filter, but it started to. It is flaking the first layer off. All right, take two. Whoops, I said all right again. I'm supposedly the king of saying all right. But anyhow, here's the... Uh, new brake disc versus the old brake disc the old brake disc is kind of glazed over and it's uh, these cut out areas are starting to flake off now there's still a good bit of material there uh, and i'm thinking the other disc is going to be worse just by what i found in the filter screen um, or in the sump screen so uh i'm gonna put the new disc up in there a while i got news that the deer parts didn't come in um wasn't just ours it was sounds like you know everybody that had parts ordered for this morning including the dealership they're not seeing it so kind of a kind of a bum deal but it's sort of been par for the course here lately just with a lot of things so anyhow yeah i'm gonna put the disc up in here so maybe i should explain this a little better the piece that's in there is sort of the piston side of things uh there's oil pressure that pushes out against this disc and then the next piece I'm going to put in is what the disc, it, the disc gets pressed between the piston and the next piece. Um, the next piece here has these little studs that are spring loaded. Uh, I'll put them in the inside and they are, I mean, I'm just assuming, but they're made to, when you release your brakes, they would push push the two surfaces apart so the disc is not in there just rubbing. So I got the uh, blue goop on. I have it on in there as well, hard to see. So now we're gonna try to go back together. Kind of dangerous, uh, need to keep her head in the game and take her time. Yeah, keep swinging to the right a little bit. Up. We're 
lined up. We just gotta drop down just a hair. All right, we got the uh, left or right side. I'm sorry, we got the tire back on there, and we started taking the left side apart. Well, I shouldn't say started. It is apart. Um, the brake. The brake pad on this really wasn't any worse. Um, so I kind of feel like I jumped the gun a little bit. However, um, once they disintegrate, they start going quicker. And, you know, if you start uh, destroying the compression plates or whatever in there, uh, and then you get dirt throughout your system, you might have bigger problems in your hands. So, I mean, I was kind of hoping to see it a little worse, but at the same time, I'm here now, um, and we'll get them replaced. We're going back together with the left side of the tractor. Here we go. It's the next day. It's Wednesday, March 16th, and I missed the fun this morning, like my dad said. But we, they got the tire back on. Well, the axle back in, tire was back on. All they would have had to do was uh, turn the we other. Check this side off the ground so this wheel could turn. And we were able to turn that and it fell right into place. So it's very frustrating. So hindsight, next time we do this to any tractor, if we do it to another 8R, we'll know what to do. Um, yep, last night we wasted about two hours, went home defeated. Like my dad said, the only thing that was hurt was our pride. I didn't think of giving the GoPro to my dad, but my dad, cousin Mitch and my uncle, they went to go get some lime we need to spread some lime on some ground and all three dump trucks are gone. So I'm just here holding the fork down, at least at this part of the dairy. Bring water out to the calves and then I might go down to the construction site and see what's up. And I think they're, they could use some help, so. This video has been all over the place. It's over a span of two days, doing all sorts of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, right now I'm dumping water out before feeding here. She didn't even touch hers. Big surprise. Same here, same there, but they're the youngest, so it's kind of expected. Um, this is gonna conclude the, uh, 
this is going to conclude the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the support. Watch out for them turn signals. God bless. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now. What's that, tractor? No, this is a camera. What's that, tractor? Tractor. What's that? Tractor.